In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Grid inside Maya, and specifically Maya LT, to match exactly to Unreal Engine 4 Grid. This way, anything you create inside Maya will be to exact scale and proportion when you import it into Unreal Engine 4. Now, I'm using Maya LT, but the same exact steps can be used in regular version of Maya. First thing we need to do is make sure that Maya is set up to use centimeters. In Unreal Engine 4, one Unreal unit equals to one centimeter. So for this, let's go to Window, Set in Preferences, and Preferences. And we want to select Settings. And make sure that under Working Units, Linear is set to centimeters. And click Save. Next, let's set up our grid. Let's go to Display and click on the Grid Option menu, this little icon. The three values that we want to change are under Size. And these are Length and Width, Grid Lines every so many units, and Subdivisions. Length and Width will determine how large the grid is. So this is the actual size of the grid. So currently I have this set to 1000. So if we increase this to 3000, click Apply, you can see that the grid size is larger. Now let's go ahead and set this to 1000. This is a good working number, but you can always change this to any value that you want. For subdivisions, you want to set this to value of 1. This will match the grid scale ratio to Unreal Engine, and we want this ratio to be 1 to 1. And now, if we change grid lines every so many units, this will correspond to changing the grid size inside Unreal Engine. So if we set this to 50, every single unit inside Maya, every single grid unit here, is going to be 50 units. And if we jump to Unreal Engine, let's go to Orthographic Viewport, and let's change our grid size to 50. So every grid unit inside Unreal Engine, when you change the grid number, this value will match the grid units in Unreal Engine and in Maya. So if we want our grid size to be 10 units, just switch this to 10. And inside Unreal Engine, we just bump this down to 10. And this will match exactly the grid units across Unreal Engine and Maya. So this is the value you would change to stay on the grid inside Maya. So let's go ahead and close. Back in Unreal Engine, we want to double check one value. We want to make sure that the measuring units inside Unreal are set to centimeters. This should be set to centimeters by default, and you probably will not have to change this, but it's something that you should be aware of. And to double check, let's go to Edit, Edit the Preferences, Viewport, and under Look and Feel, Measuring Tools Units should be set to centimeters. So this value should be set to centimeters by default. Let's go ahead and close Edit the Preferences. And let me create a small box that's going to be 100 units tall and in width and length. Let's create a box. And let's set this to 100. I'm going to export this box from Maya into Unreal Engine. And then we're going to compare if 100 Maya units is exactly the same as 100 Unreal units. So let me quickly export this. And I'm going to name this box 100. Inside Unreal Engine, let's go ahead and import this into our static mesh folder. And I'm just going to keep everything as default and import. And let me drag this box right into the level. And we can go to orthographic viewport and measure. Use the middle mouse click and drag to match and see if it's 100 units. And it is. And let's also create a BSP brush. It's going to be 100 units in size. And let's drag it down. And now we have our static mesh box and our BSP cube with the exact same dimensions. So that is how you set up grid inside Maya to match Unreal Engine. So everything that you create and every model stays on the grid to exact the same scale and proportion between Maya LT and Unreal Engine 4.